So, I began masking some parts in preparation to do two tones. Um, some parts I don't need to mask. That is going to be painted the next color, which I'll do in a few moments. The ones that I'm pulling out right now. While the others will be painted um, with the masking on. Specifically, you know, like the parts for the um, side skirt armor. Let me just make sure that's in there. For this. The, um, this part for the front part of the ch of the um, of the chest, not the chest, I'm sorry, the waist unit. Uh, this one's the back, but this part is not going to be painted white. This is, some parts I'm going to be painting the darker tone color, which we will cover in a few moments. Uh, this is the back part of the leg, so that one, these two, these three guys are okay, so I'm going to put that to the side. Uh, this one too will be dark, while the other one was light. masked off the arm as you could see here I carefully you know since there was a gap I was able to like squeeze in the uh, the uh, the, the masking tape inside so I can paint this whole thing around and then once the the part dries I'm gonna mask this whole section around so I can paint paint it the other color put that there there this one was from the front part of the foot which I had to sand down because I didn't realize that there was a very very light seam line in there but I, I took care of that so that's that's fine um, some parts I've already removed from the uh, from the reversal tape so that's going to be painted separately since so now I have more uh, more of the, cl uh, of the uh, alligator clips for me to use and hold let me just grab this guy here let's do some solids first so we're going to begin with the color that I have been trying to get my hands on. And that is, of course, Cool White GX1. I decided to lower down the uh, PSIs on this guy. I'm just going to do a series of light passes to get some good coverage. I'm glad that I got the lighting done right because before I was so um, I didn't have the lighting correct for me to actually see how the paint um, went on the part, and that was very tough for me with white paint. This time, it's a little bit much better now. There we go. 
gray and the white. Oh, the prime. But that's where I like this. Very nice. Alright. I might as well take care of this one that just fell. I'm gonna also have to mask this guy once it finishes drying. Because I want to get the that little part in the back uh, uh, over the head, the uh, that center strip. I'm sorry, but like you know what? I don't know if I have it right. There we go. That's good. That's great coverage. Great coverage right there. All right, let's deal with the with the parts that are masked. Uh, let's do the arm. Visit this later on. Let me just dry it up. Let it dry here. Let's make sure that there's all the cut. Nothing's showing. Everything's in there. I don't want to go too, too much. I don't want to like oversaturate it. Of course, you want to get a nice coverage. That's good. All right. So let me continue on. There's some parts here that does not need masking, so I just just need to do a little, you know, pass. Uh, if it needs another pass, I'll review it. But most likely, it probably will because of it. Sometimes when, when you spray it, and you may miss something, maybe it'll be too wet. Just try to just do another pass to even out the, the color tone. Alright, let me just continue on. 
and we'll move on to the next part of the depth to paint. Okay, next up for the paint jobs is going to be the Titans Blue 1 that I'm going to do on the dark colors of this kit. I have some of the parts already separate here, separated. Let's begin with this guy. Actually, let me see if we can zoom in so you guys can see this. Be a lot easier that way. Get this thing done. I did before, Put some light passes. That's good. Back by the leg. This is this um this uh, paint had very little left. I have another bottle, but I decided to put a little bit more thinner inside. It's coming out a little wet because I think I've made put it a little too much thinner. But I'm gonna give it some time to you know for me to I'm gonna spray paint it very light. I'm not gonna go crazy with this. Just enough to where it, it gets a good coverage, and then later on I'll give it a second coat, like I did with the white. Well, pretty much you do with any color. You, know, you, you give one pass, and then you wait a bit, and then you give it a second pass to make sure it evens out. Well, that's good. This was actually one of the joints in the back, which I'm going to paint. Good coverage shows a little wetness, but I'm gonna let it dry and then give it a second pass later on. This is that little part in the backpack which you should get also. Okay, I got a few more parts here. Let me pull it out to make sure I cover this up. Now, the one part that I'm going to paint the next color, which is Phantom Gray, that will be reserved for the gun and the hands. And I think that's pretty much it. I've been thinking... I'm sorry, give me a minute. I'm still pulling it to the side. I've been thinking of taking the hand uh, after it finishes painting and even though I know that the ball here is white 
I, I'm painting the whole thing the dark tone. Uh, and of course, I also have, I forgot the mask off the, you know what, let's do that now before we go move any further. This white part is already uh, dry. Where's my hobby knife? I have some strips here already pre-cut. Just need to get it out. Be a lot easier that way, so you guys can see this. So we're going to cover that. View that in a moment. Make sure that comes out right. And then, of course, make sure that it doesn't oversaturate to the other part. But going back to what I was saying before, I was thinking of painting this the uh, this one, the Phantom Gray, and then masking off everything just to show off the knuckle, and then painting another color tone, either going with Titan's Blue One again, or maybe the white. Don't know yet. I'm I'm kind of still thinking about that. There are parts that I I have noticed in the manual um, that does definitely need a different color tone or different paint job. Uh, one notable part is the shoulder. This part here, where the uh, little vents here, supposedly has to be yellow. So I don't want to take the whole thing apart. I could probably mask off the entire section around and then paint it yellow. So that is something I'm going to have to end up doing. Um, the I was actually thinking of something to do around the leg also, but I think we're kind of covered with that. I'm not going to paint the joints. I was going to thinking of doing that, but then again, it's going to probably be like parts where I want to actually use the weathering uh, products don't know yet but let's let's play it by ear so I have these parts to finish up with this I have the remaining parts the hands the uh, and, and the uh, beam rifle I'm gonna use this once everything is done we'll review all the parts and do a final assembly and see how it looks so let me finish this up so you guys can see the uh, you know how well or how okay I, I come across with this character. So give me some time, alright?